Hey guys, Ripper the Rage here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And welcome to a vlog that needs to be made. This is a little video that I felt I need to make. And, you know, this is, I guess, as much as for myself as for, you know, the world. I don't know. I don't know how, how, what type of video this is supposed to be. But let's talk about Angry Joe. Let's talk about the fact that his, you know, fans... Okay, and I'm not going to use that word for these people ever again because they're not fans. They're entitled little assholes, right, that are turning against him for no reason. All right, so, you know, I don't know what I'm going to refer to them as from this point on, but, you know, I'll probably throw around plenty of insults because they deserve it. But if you guys don't know what I'm talking about with Angry Joe and, you know, people turning on him, basically what had happened was uh, some time ago Angry Joe you know, uh, had said that he would have a schedule, right? You know, this was months and months ago, start of 2017, like end of 2016, around that area. And he had put up a thing where he's like, all right, we're going to have a schedule. We're going to do, you know, this this on this week, this on that week, this on this week. Not specifically the game, but the type of video that would be out. Well, people are trying, trying to hold him to that as an argument against him because he's on vacation right now. So uh, what Angry Joe has been on YouTube for nine years. Right, he has been working his ass off for nine years straight. No breaks, no ends, no vacations, no downtime. Everything has been done in his life for the past nine years to make content for us, for the community. And what people don't seem to get is that, yeah, he probably needs a break from that. And I, I would wager, I, I, I'll throw a hundred bucks on the table that at least ninety percent, if not ninety-five percent of all the people that are against Joe right now, don't understand the editing process, don't understand the filmmaking process, and don't understand when you create content, it takes time, it takes effort, and it takes a certain amount of willpower to do so, you know? And I'll break those ideas down in a little bit, but I just wanted to start this by saying that, yeah, Joe deserves a fucking break. And if you people can't handle two months, oh, just two months in the in summer when there's no fucking games to review anyway, without game reviews, if you can't handle those two months, leave. Fucking go. We do not need you. You should go away. Why? Because you're a child. And you're entitled. And you're whiny. Now, have I had moments where I rage? Have I had moments where I whine? Quote, yes. Yes, I have. For stupid shit, sure. I'll admit it. But I don't do it against people. I do it against stupid game mechanics. I do it against, uh, you know, bad uh, developer ideas. I, I do it against things, against ideas that I think are bad. Not against the person themselves. These people are doing it directly against Joe. They're going directly against him as a person. Not him as a producer. Not him as a, as a studio. Not him as a, as a game with a game with a certain mechanic. They're not critiquing. They're just being assholes about it. Okay. And I think that's what pisses me off most is if it was constructive criticism, if they said, hey, I didn't like the last review because of X, Y, Z reason. Hey, I didn't like uh, how you did this. Maybe you should try doing this instead. Fair enough. That's called constructive criticism. Okay. And that's what helps content creators make better content. But downvoting all of his videos and just shitting on everything he's trying to do right now while he's on vacation, mind you, he's taking a break right now and he's still coming out with little vlogs and stuff he just did a fucking video talking about a game um i i the, the name of it escapes me uh but it's a, a game kind of like insurgency where it's a very super like hyper realistic uh war shooter and it looked pretty interesting and i might give it a try if i had extra income but it's not really a, one of my games you know that's not really my thing but it did look interesting and the video he presented was really nice he talked about some of the mechanics and talked about the game plays and it wasn't really a review because the game is in early access right now. And he just wanted to kind of spread the message. Now, I don't think he was sponsored in any way, but I could be wrong. You can go look at the, the video yourself on Joe's channel. But he made that video. So he's still talking about games, even when he's not talking about games. Even when he's not fully reviewing anything. There's nothing to fucking review in June and July, people. If you pay attention and you're an actual gamer, you would know June and July are fucking June and fucking July to the gaming community. You know why? Because content creators, the reason they call, the reason they go, oh, fucking summer, is because nothing is happening. Why do you think Steam does the Steam summer sale? They do it because there's nothing for them to make money on that's new. 
There's nothing coming out that's big that will make them money now. So they have to have a summer sale to try and get all the old shit out the door. And by the time you're done playing those things in all these big bundles of games you get, and you run through all those, then they will have more games because by the time you're done with that, or, you know, hopefully by the time you're done with that, then y there will be more games to play. We're talking shit like Destiny 2, Battlefront 2, uh, fucking the new COD, you know, things that are big. But as of right now, the biggest thing to come out during summer is fucking Fortnite. And Fortnite is, an, is technically an early access title. Still a good game, but an early access title. And, okay, all right, so, you know, I, I've ranted long enough on that bit. I want to get off that. So that's me defending Joe. That's me saying Joe has worked hard for nine years. He deserves a break. He took a break. And he even came back during his break and told people, hey, this is why you haven't seen anything for, like, you know, two weeks, three weeks, however long I've been gone. This is why we haven't done any new game reviews is because I'm gone right now. I'm gone. I'm not doing this, you know. But he's still doing even reviews of Game of Thrones right now, the new Game of Thrones season on. I don't watch Game of Thrones, so I don't watch those videos because I'm not interested in it. But if I did watch, I'd probably watch those. And it would probably be entertaining for me. And I've been trying to binge watch Game of Thrones, and I haven't had time to do so. But once I have time, I'm getting a, br I'm getting a break uh, after next week. After next week, I'm off for school for two weeks, so I'll probably binge it then. But he's even making content on that. And people are shitting on that, even though he's still trying to make content. He's still trying to give people something. All right, so back to what I said earlier about uh, people not understanding... The, the content creator's process. And as a content creator, I, you know, yeah, what content do I make? Do I make this? Do I make that? If you go back in my channel, I used to make montages and, and little clips of, you know, like edited together little clips of like, you know, fun stuff that happened in game. I'd have some sound effects, you know, goofy shit, a little bit, a little bit cringy, I have to admit. But back then I was, I was young. I, I didn't know, you know, that was like, uh, you know, two or three years ago. I didn't really understand the process and like what actually makes a video good. And I still don't, but, you know, uh, apparently not because of my sub count. But I understand more now that I've actually taken digital media courses and I understand the process of editing. I understand where things should be going. And my God, when I look at something like what Joe does with his game reviews, I cannot imagine how hard that must be. Okay, let me, let me break this down. I'm not going to put anybody on, on, on blast right now and I'm not going to put my friends out there because, um, you know, some of my classmates... We had the school project and, you know, I'm, talk I'm not talking a high school project. I'm talking a college level digital media course project where you make a short film. Okay. And, you know, the, the real shit. Okay. And when I, when we made this, we had, I think, uh, collectively, we had the same classes under our belt. So maybe one, two, two, three digital media classes at the most or two and a half. So we knew the basics about how to operate the machinery. But as for actually filming anything, we hadn't done that in the course yet. That in the, all the courses we take, we hadn't actually filmed anything other than a simple stop motion. And oh, simple and stop motion, two words don't go together. <laughs> um, but no, it, it, it was a project called Yu Gi No, and it was kind of this parody thing of you know, if, what if like Yu Gi Oh cards were like drugs, and this guy was getting addicted to them, and he ruined his life, and it's just a funny video, you know. And it's about seven minutes long. And you guys can look it up if you want. And it's not Yugi No, the animation. We did not make that. I'm not claiming we made that. I'm, it, it's a live action thing. And if you guys look it up, you can find it. It's, it should be on page two when you look it up on YouTube. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to physically show the video because I don't want to put my friends' faces out there and all that. You know, because we're not without their permission because that's not cool. You don't need to go doing that to people. Uh, but, you know, basically uh, me, uh, you know, uh, I'm going I'm to change some names here. Uh, me, Mark, Vivian, and... Uh, you know, Vivian and Vanessa, let's go with Vanessa, Mark, Vanessa, and uh, Daniel, right, we'll, we'll, you know, throw some names out, uh, we had all gotten in on this project, now, um, you know, Mark was not in on the project, he was not in our class, but he, you know, wanted to help us, because he's trying to get in the film thing, and not, like, you know, the game side of things, like me, he's trying to go for a degree where he can get into actual filmmaking, and, you know, he's, he was doing some of the editing and stuff, but I, I did most of the editing myself, and uh, so basically, I was the director of this short film that we did, and in this short film, uh, okay, so let's put this in perspective. We had about three weeks to film the thing, and we were on campus two days out of the week, uh, and we were filming, I'd say, all together collectively. We filmed. Just filming had to have taken a good 12 hours, you know, because of, uh, you know, uh, weather, 
because of the locations we wanted to shoot in, because of costume errors and, you know, uh, retakes. We had to do, we had to do, oh my god, the amount of retakes we had to do. Because we were amateurs. We didn't, we weren't professionals. So we did, we had, like, the giggles and we had, you know, we, we, we didn't set up the angle right and we didn't get clear audio. So we had to reshoot, you know, and we had to sh sh reshoot every scene at least twice. At least twice, if not three or four times. At least twice. You know, and, you know, and that feeling when you nail it is really good, right? But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about right now is the editing probably took, I, I'd say, okay, I'd say the, the filming took about 12 hours collectively. The editing process, and that was at school and at home, I did editing as well, all together between everybody working. And we were a four-man team, but there was basically one and a half of us, I guess, me and some of Tim were working on the editing. And, uh, you know, there weren't even really special effects. It was just overlay stuff from uh, Adobe After Effects. And... Uh, in all of that editing, I'd have to say we spent a good eight hours editing. Uh, no, that's not even right. You know, maybe maybe it's about it was actually uh, about sixteen hours filming and uh, eight hours or eight anywhere from twelve to sixteen hours filming and anywhere from eight to ten hours uh, editing. Right, and that doesn't sound like a lot to somebody, but if you did that in a straight shot, you would be so tired. You would be ridiculously tired. Now, the problem here is I had to write a fucking script I had to script the thing I had to set up the shots I had to decide where the locations were going to be I had to decide what costumes uh we wanted people to be in what angles you know like set, when I was setting up the shots I had to decide what angle do we want a high angle low angle tilted angle what can we do with these shots we had this one camera no dolly no nothing we had you know we had a lot of stationary shots we had to get some walking shots we had to get some background shots and my god you know and and, and then Joe here's the thing with Joe he did all of the same stuff we were doing, but he did it bigger. He did it better. He's been doing it bigger and better for nine years, okay? And people look at, like, a 10-minute video and go, oh, that's not all that editing. Dude, you don't understand. You really don't know what you're talking about. If you've ever sat down and tried to cut together even a vlog like this, you know, I don't cut my vlogs very much because I, I feel like that takes something out of it, and I like the longer ones, and I like to keep it a little bit longer, but try and keep it a little condensed. It helps me against my thoughts. Because if I can just edit it, edit this out, edit that out, I feel like I'll miss something or, you know, stuff like that. But the, the, back to the point, I, I digress. Back to the point hand is the, the, the thing here is Joe has to play the fucking game first. And when Joe plays, he plays thoroughly. He plays through all the way at least, you know, at least once, right? And he does, maybe doesn't owe all the side activities, but he does enough. He, he puts at least, I will tell you this, a full 40 hours into every game he plays, no matter how shit the game is, he will put together as many hours as it takes to complete that game, to complete the single-player campaign, to complete uh, multiplayer, uh, if there is multiplayer in the game, to complete side objectives, if they are compelling enough, he will go do them, and, you know, he will fully explore a game. So, minimum, we're talking minimum 40 hours for, you know, playing that. Now, Let's throw in the editing and the costumes. He has to go and get the costumes. He has to script exactly what they're going to say. He has to shoot while in costume and memorizing lines. He has to stand in front of the screen screen and do all the shit they're supposed to do. Uh, he has bloopers in his game reviews sometimes where it shows shit that happens. He's had, uh, you know, props break, you know, in, in uh, Legend of Zelda. In, in his, uh, in not Ocarina of Time, sorry, uh, in... The, the new one, uh, the fucking, what do they call it? Um, Legend of Zelda, I, I, I don't know, because I played it fucking, I can't remember, I was talking about it a while ago. Um, the new one that just came off of the Switch, you guys know what I'm talking about, the, uh, the, the, just whatever it is. And at the end of that, he showed a blooper where one of the, one of the axe props he was using broke. The handle, like, legit came off, it's like, shit, so he had to put it back on. Uh, you've had costume malfunctions, you've had, uh, you know, retakes and reshoots, and, and just, he has to do all that. So that's just the shooting. That's not even anything. That's just shooting and getting costumes. So all together, that has to take, you know, and, and let's throw the script in there too. The script probably takes a lot of time to write because he's got to make jokes. He's got to make valid points. He has to memorize this whole thing. He has to get other Joe over. He has to get, you know, other people that work with him, Delrith and Angry, Angry Beard and anybody else who's going to be in it has to come over and shoot and shoot and shoot and make sure they have the perfect take. And then, so all of that combined has to take, I'd say minimum 20 hours. That's at the bare minimum. It's probably closer to something like 30, 35, you know, bit. and, you know, that's probably on the high end. But, you know, that's a lot of editing work. So altogether, we've gotten, you know, I would say he averages at least 100 hours on every review between filming the game, 
uh, filming himself and playing through the whole game. And then you have to get to the editing process. People don't understand how hard it is to actually put special effects in, like he does. The way he puts the special effects in, it makes them seamless, it makes them nice, it makes them clean, is insanity. Okay? I have never tried special effects works. I've seen people do special effects. Masking to make wires disappear, um, making somebody completely disappear, uh, you know, like, like, like they snap the fingers and they turn invisible. I've seen that. And it actually is a very tedious process. And it takes a lot of time to do. And so especially with him, how in his Injustice 2 review, he, had, he was shooting lasers from his eyes like fucking Superman. He had like the, the eyes, you know. And uh, when you, when he does stuff where he did like in The Witcher 3 where he did Igni, you know, he has, to, he has to make it so he sits at just the right angle with his hand to where later on he can edit into the green screen that he is actually doing fire out of that. And he has to make this whole fire particle effect. He has to make this whole thing before that. He has to go either find it if it was made online somewhere else or make it himself, which he probably makes himself. I don't doubt him on that. And then he has to put that in there. It has to be the so at exactly where his hand is, but it has to be behind his hand, not in front of the hand. It has to be on the hand, coming from the palm. Very, very in-depth shit, okay? And, you know, that, and he has to cut the footage together. He's got to take all of the shit takes out. You know, he's got he's to get only the proper footage in. He has to throw game footage in at the appropriate moment to demonstrate, uh, you know, game mechanics he's talking about at that exact moment. So he has to go back and he has to rewatch it over and over and over and over and over again to make sure everything is in the right spot. And then finally, after all of that, that has to take, you know, at least, you know, with just the editing aspect, has to take minimum 20 hours. Minimum. You're talking minimum. With projects like his, it's probably 40. I'm, I'm lowballing when I'm saying 20. 20 is probably not even anywhere close to his minimum. But, you know, it, it's, it's got to be 20 hours editing, right? And then after all that, you know what he has to do? He has to take that and he has to export it. He has to get it all finalized. He has to get it all finished. And then he has to send it off into and get it turned into a proper file that he can upload to YouTube. And that whole rendering process, I've done rendering and I've done it with no special effects, with simple overlays and simple cuts. And it takes at least two hours with my project. It took two hours for the final cut to be rendered. Two hours for a seven minute video. So when Joe makes a 45 minute video, you know what that means? With all these special effects and shit, that's more information that the thing has to compile. So when it processes, it has to render all of that shit too. So a 45 minute you know, a 30 to 45 minute review for him probably takes, at, I'd say two to three hours lowballing. You know, it probably takes two, three hours rendering to get it all finished and finalized. You know, and he might have a different way of doing it that's faster and more efficient than I am. But from my experience, this is what I know as a content creator. And what I've done is that is, you know, about what it is. So if you add all these hours together, we had about 40 minimum for the game. Let's say, you know, 40, you know, minimum for the game. We had about uh, 35 for the filming. Uh, we had about, uh, I'd say, 20 lowball. Let's let's kick that up to 25 minimum. 25 minimum for that. So we got 25 and 35. That makes, what, 60? So 60 hours on editing and filming. Uh, and then you have to do the actual playing of the game, which takes 40 hours at least. So you're talking minimum 100 hours on these higher-end reviews, on these longer reviews, on these bigger games. Right, and now I don't. I know that not every game he gets his full attention in and all that. He doesn't do all that. But certain games, you know, if they're shit enough, he won't bother with all that. Why? Because the game is shit. It doesn't deserve his time for all of those major parodies and stuff. But if the game is really good, he puts a lot of effort into it. But you know, and he always puts effort in a lot of his videos. But he puts more effort into the better games that deserve it. You know, or if something is just so stupid, he has to make a parody of it in one of his scenes. But we're talking a minimum 100 hours, and you want to say, and if we're off with the math, and I don't know the math, okay, you want to say, oh, well, you don't know exactly what he does. You don't know how much he puts in every year. Okay, so I don't know it's 100. I know, so if we, we could, what, take 20 hours off of that total time? So that's minimum 80 hours of work? That You do guys do realize that that is two full-time jobs. That's two weeks of a full-time job. That's two full 40-hour weeks that he works for one review. If that is the medium, which I don't think it is, but even going off of the, yeah, we could cut it down to say 60, 60 hours for one video. And he's made 142, he's made like 140 some odd, you know, I, I think the number I heard was 100, 
the number I've seen is 142. But he's made like 142 of these things. What the fuck? He's made a lot. Over nine years, nonstop. Every game that comes out, he's on it. Okay? So, when it comes down to you supposed fans, and you're not fans of Joe, because you were really his fans and you were loyal, you would let him do what he fucking wants. It is not your channel. It is not the huge Joe show. It is the angry Joe show. It is... It is not the give me game review show. It is the Angry Joe show. Angry Joe will do what he wants, okay? Angry Joe will do what he wants with his channel, when he wants, how much he wants, and he will put however much ever he sees into it. And this is the same exact argument that I hear from people. It's like, oh, he just wants money. Bitch, are you kidding me? Do you realize how many sponsorships he probably turns down because the product is terrible? Drifter gets the same kind of shit. When, he, when they're like, oh, you're just in it for the money. The fuck are you talking about? Drifters turned down so many sponsorships, it wouldn't be you wouldn't fucking believe it. Ridiculous. Because he's principled. Him and Joe both. They're both principled people. If they were in for money, they could just have fucking little, you know, like, oh hey, go buy our merch, go buy our merch right before every video. You know, oh hey, this video is sponsored by this, this video is sponsored by that. No, they're not. But they're not. <laughs> That's the thing. You know, but god, these people. These people get on my nerves. But yeah, that's what it boils down to, you know, and I can say that, you know, I've been on both sides of the fence, right? I have been a viewer and I have been a content creator. And if you don't like the way Joe does his show, fucking leave. I don't like the way that, you know, uh, 8 Thoughts does his show. I don't like the way that's uh, fucking, I don't know, PewDiePie. I like, you know, everybody loves PewDiePie. I don't fucking like the guy. I think he's annoying. I find him annoying. I find him, uh, you know, childish and I find his jokes just stupid really really stupid i'm not talking about the fucking wall street journal thing either i'm talking about before that like i'm just in general his videos are not my cup of tea and you know i find uh you know markiplier to be a little boring for me uh you know and he's funny but he's kind of the he's hitting a, a demographic that's below my mentality not not below in the bad sense but young a younger mentality or a, a, a different kind of more fun bubbly mentality which i don't really feel that i'm not a fan of that so I, I've watched Markiplier a little bit, but I don't watch him a lot, you know, and, you know, I, I, but that's okay because people probably look at Joe and say, oh, he's a piece of shit and he's terrible and his content is terrible. Fair enough. You can say that. Just go away. Don't watch it then. I don't watch PewDiePie and Markiplier and all them for that exact same reason. I don't like their content. Okay. This is free content. I'm not going to waste my time watching free content and expecting it to be what I want it to be. Okay. Do you understand now? This is not a fucking democracy. Okay? YouTube is not a democracy. Joe don't owe you shit. Okay? And people can make the argument, oh, uh, you know, oh, well, well, he wouldn't be anywhere without his fans. He wouldn't be anywhere with all of these views coming in. You are correct, sir. But that does not mean he works for you. That does not mean he is in debt to you. Okay? And if he was acting like a pretentious asshole and saying everybody should fall in line because I say so, that would be different. But what he's doing is defending himself. And he's saying, look, guys, I'm going on vacation. I'm taking some me time. Fucking relax. I'll come back for the game reviews when there's shit to fucking review. When there's important shit. Okay? Okay. Woo! I haven't done one of these rant videos in a while. This actually feels kind of good. I think I'll try and do these a little more often. You know? And, you know, and, and I guess I'm technically talking about drama, but... You know what? I felt I needed to talk about this. I don't talk about every little thing, but this is one thing that pissed me off because it hit me right here, you know, and I, like I said before, I've been, I've been a viewer, I've been a consumer of this content, and I've also been a creator of this content. And, you know, maybe, maybe my stuff isn't as high quality as Joe or other people, and I'm doing it wrong or something, but fuck you. It's my content. It's Joe's content. It's Richard's content. It's our content. Okay, you cannot tell us what to do. Now, can you criticize and say, yes, you should have done X, Y, Z better, or you could have used a better angle here, or you should have done a different special effect here, you know, or uh, you should have done a different thing on screen here, or you missed, a, you missed something here. You forgot to edit this scene in when you, when you made reference to something and you acted like you were going to cut it, but you didn't actually cut it. I've, seen, I've actually seen Boogie do that on some of his videos, on one or two of his videos. He's actually gone to cut to, to show something and didn't actually show it which is strange to see. It kind of jars you a little bit when you're watching. But that's okay. That's fair. That's called constructive criticism. But just blaming somebody because they are who they are and, you know, because that because they're not just handing you the thing you want right now, right now, right now, 
And just because the game came out two days ago and you expect a review now, 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 fuck you, dude. Get off your ass. Go edit. Okay, why don't you do that? Why don't you go take some digital media courses, learn what the editing process is, then go try to be an editor for one of these YouTube channels. See how hard it is. See how hard these YouTubers work to make their content. Go ahead. You try, go, get one of these games, review it with coherent, you know, thought and everything. Do it exactly like Joe does. Go ahead and try that and see how much time you have to do that. See how much time you have before people start jumping your shit. Okay? All I'm saying is, people need to fucking relax. Let it be. It is what it is. And if you don't like it, there are plenty of other channels you can go to for these reviews and these things. It's not like he's the only guy around. It's not like he has a monopoly on the whole game review thing. He does them well, but there are other people who review games. There are other people who review movies. There are other people who talk about politics. There are other people who talk about this, that, and the other thing. Okay? Okay, if you don't like it, please, kindly. You know what? There's the fucking door. Don't let it hit you on the way out. Okay? Whew! Only six minutes of that. Holy shit. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to know your thoughts about what's happening with Joe. If you are a fan of Joe, if you hate Joe, you know, whatever, leave it in the comments. I'm not going to censor you. I don't, I'm not, you know, disabling comments or banning people or turn, I don't, I never turn off shit comments. I don't even care. Like if it's spam, it's like promoting something else and that's different. But if somebody says something mean to me, I'm not going to delete it. I'm not going to ban it. I'm not going to get rid of that person. You can say whatever you want. I'm not, I'm not a fucking, you know, Nazi about speech around here. But yes, leave it in the comments what you think. I genuinely want to know. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me. But if you disagree with me, please keep it civil. If you agree with me, please keep it civil to others that might disagree. Okay? I don't want anybody just screaming at each other. We don't need that. There's nothing that... I did enough of that shit on Facebook with morons all the time. Whew! But yep. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, check out my streams. I will see you guys in the next video. Reaper the Ranger, signing off. Go Joe.